I am uh, pretty impressed. Status, skills. Does it just explain what, what it... Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of skills as well. It sort of reminds me of Dragon Age for some reason. Detect hidden. So, okay, so there's a bunch of different stat. Uh, I mean, skills to obtain. Twists of fate. Your actions can warp and twist the fate of the world around you. Each time this occurs, you retain some degree of the fate energy set loose by the change. Lore stones. Snippets of history. Blah, blah, blah. It's a collectible. Okay. It will grant you an experience bonus. We got effects. So probably if you have like a disease. Oh, okay. So that's my last thing. But if you have a disease, it will probably show it too. And you have st some stats. Basically the same as with Skyrim. Uh, we have a map. Looks good enough to me. And the options. Okay, well, I just wanted to go through all, through all of it for you guys that were, you know, wondering what it was all about. Because there's always people who's, you know, Xboxes break down and that sort of stuff. Whoa, what's going on? Ow. What is going on? Why is there green light there? Okay. I'm just going to run see what's going on over there. Everything is crumbling. Stupid crate. Oh. Nothing? Okay, I thought there might be some loot, but there's not. How about over here? Ew, what the hell? That's disgusting. Hey. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, B dodges in combat. You can still run if you want to. How do I block? Is there, yep. Left trigger blocks. Okay, so so far, I like the minimap and you like your health. The only thing I really dislike is the experience bar. It's very, I don't know, blend looking. It's very big. It's stretched across your screen. So I'm not really impressed with that yet. Oh, there can be gold in these chests or barrels or whatever. Guess I'm just going to have to break all of them on my whole quest. I don't know how long the demo is, but I'm not going to break all of those. Oh, someone needs help. Over there, is someone up there? Nope. What the hell's this? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, rescue the gnome. You can jump down. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some soldiers that want to fight me. Huh! Dodge. Okay. I am um, impressed, I have to say. Saw some videos. I wasn't sure whether I really liked the way the game looked. But so far, the graphics look pretty great to me, especially for console. And I don't know. I am uh, impressed. Oh, that's the move that I did. See, look at the experience part. It doesn't look very good. And we can take his leggings, because he dropped those, I guess. Ansel. Hey, that's the, that's the guy from before. No, not really. Hmm. Conversations are not the best, so I can pick what happened to me. I'm not dead. No, no, clearly not, not anymore. But you were. The well of souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. What? The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Um, who are these attackers? They are the Tawatha Deo, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far in them, not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Jews may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. I'll do my best. Uh, who is he anyway? Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tawatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get your shoes. Now, let's get you You Okay, some potions. I can... There's some more questions. Where is you? You. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Okay. So, we have our quest. Well, you need to escape with him. Is there anything else I can pick up, maybe? Or maybe I can smash this stuff over here and... No, nothing. Oh, some gold. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, you have a day and a time as well. And I got some worn leggings. Oh, okay, that's better. Gives me extra critical hit damage. Interestingly enough. 
And I got some consumables. Let's take a look at those. Can I... Yeah, I can map them. Um, okay. I'm just going to add them to the first slot, I guess. And there we go. Some more stuff to smash. Just in case there's any... Ooh, that's a chest. Let me open that. Old boots. I'll take him. It's probably better than... Well, no boots. Can't complain. Uh, armor... Old boots. Equip. Hey, there we go. It actually fits my armor. It gives me extra critical head damage as well. So if I do get, you know, critical hit, it's a lot stronger. Let's see if there's more stuff to be found. Because I am a real, like, dungeon loot whore, I guess. I always want to find all the all the items there are, but I guess there's nothing else left. Let's go to war. Oh, wait, I can loot him? Oh, let's just talk to the, the gnome guy. I don't want to talk to him. I just did. Yeah, well, that's... Whoa! What the hell is this? Well, I already know what it is, but... What the hell? They're blowing it up? Why would you do that? It's not necessary. Oh, there's all sorts of dead people. Oh, they're gnomes. Not saying that gnomes are not people, I'm just saying they're not... Well, okay, they're... Yeah, I'm still, you know, feel really bad about them dying, okay? I'm not racist. A lever. Sweet. No long animation for pulling it, I like it. Makes me happy. Let's see, there's probably gonna be some more enemies, am I right? Ooh, do I see a chest on my mini-map? Do I see some rocks crushing my, my, my crates? Some objects can be dis can be destroyed by weapons. Okay, I already found out about that because I like smashing stuff. So let's give it a go. It's probably gonna be lots of hidden stuff in this game because it really looks like the sort of game that would do it. Ooh, I want that one. Seriously, just a kite shield? I want the big sword. Wow, that's those bows are way too big. They're bigger than me. Armor. Uh, oh, it's armor piece. Okay, equip. That's a big shield. What the hell? He, he just pulls it out of, uh, out of his ass and he just... Okay. Whatever, I don't even... I'm gonna smash all these. I don't care about those soldiers. They're not dangerous to me. What you gonna do, buddy? Yeah, I have a shield. What up? Oh, so if you block at the exact, you know, perfect time, probably, you get a little... I don't know. Smash animation bonus thing. What you gonna do? Yeah, that's right. Nothing. That one had a bow. Get it. Oh, so this is the tutorial. I guess it's gonna be the same. Ooh. That's pretty good. It's probably going to be the same as in, like, the full game where they explain everything to you and they're like, this is lockpicking, this is fighting. Some gloves. Another potion. It's pretty annoying that it just marks it as new when it's... Can you, is, there should be an option in the full game for that, where you can just press a button and it's not, like, something new anymore. Because I hate it when there's stars next to my, my stuff. A longbow. Secondary weapon. Oh, so you have one weapon, and then you can switch to another weapon, probably. So how do I equip it? How do I switch? Is there, like, a D-pad option? Oh, I just drank a potion. I didn't even mean to do. That's the... Uh, okay. So how... I don't know what is going on. People are saying, prepare to be sacrificed, mortal. I don't like the thought of that at all. Ah, okay, it's... Ah, okay, found out. I have to do it. So I have, like, a power shot, too. Okay, that's easy enough. It's, uh, like, Fable. Go, go. The, the game reminds me somewhat of Fable. It's like a mix between a real RPG and Fable 3. I'm not trying to say that, you know, it was a bad game. I'm just saying it's not, in my opinion, a real RPG. Not as much as this game seems to be. Now let's keep going. Now what's with the five arrows, like... Boom! Oh! Damn. One shot kill. 
Stop it. There you go. How about that? See, now I only have two arrows left. Does he? Oh, he probably needs to reload or something. Because otherwise it might be a bit too inspect. The writings on these documents are too faded to be of value. I'm just going to take them. I don't even care. I'll take it all. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find this Yugs or Yuge. I don't... I don't even know how to pronounce it because my sound is not high enough <coughs> for me to actually be able to understand the um, the gnome, what he said. Oh, this is a jump down spot. That's what the arrow on the minimap means. Glad to finally find out about that. You have acquired daggers. Try equipping them now. Well, I'm pretty sure I know how to equip them, but okay. Crude iron daggers. They do... Okay. Sure, I'll equip him. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool animation. I have to admit. Ooh. Rusty gauntlets. Hell yeah, I'll take those. They're probably heavier armor. If there even is, like, heavy and light. But they're better. So I'm taking them. And they look pretty badass, too. How do I sneak, though? He hasn't explained that to me. How am I ever going to catch an enemy unaware? How does one even achieve that? How do I sneak? Explain it to me. Do I just... Ah, okay. Right button. So, he, what is he doing? He's just sitting there. What is he... You will be noticed. Oh, snap! What the hell? That's pretty cool. Okay, Fayblades. Loot him. Ooh! Finally, a really good armor. Not just some tethered shirt. Uh, equip. Yeah, that looks cool. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try sneaking up on them again. Can I just, like... I'm just gonna power shot them. I don't feel like sneaking all the... Whoa! Okay. This guy's got some more armor than I thought he ha he'd have. Go away, buddy. What? I'm not scattering. Why are you saying such things to me? Um, daggers are not really my my thing. I'm going to switch back to the rusty longsword. I want to. I'm probably gonna play sort of a warrior guy because I was really, really sneaky and magicy in in Skyrim, and I want to play a different playing style just to keep it interesting for people that are watching and for myself too. What do you have? Extra gold from detect hidden skill. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So, it's like some gold hidden in like a pocket or something. I can still find it. Hopefully, it wasn't a pocket, not somewhere else, because that would be disgusting. Ah. Excess your ability. Storm. Ah, okay. I don't know. Yay! More magic! What is this? Spider memo. Spider problem. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to read this, then go ahead. But I, you know, just pause it, pause the video, and then read this. But I'm... I don't really care about this too much. Not right now, at least. Am I, if I'm going to do a Let's Play in a full game, I'll probably read all of it, but... Torn robes. Okay, so if you want to play a mage character, you can put on some robes. I might do that. I'm not entirely sure as to what, you know, playing style I want to achieve. Is that a spider in there? What the hell? I don't like spiders. What's going on with all the, the big RPGs, uh, you know, having spiders as an enemy? Yep, there's probably going to be more spiders, I think. That would be highly probable. Same as in Skyrim. I don't know why they would do that to me. Because I don't like spiders, and there's probably... A lot of you guys that are watching this, you probably don't like spiders too, so why do people do this to us? I don't know. I wish I did know, but I don't. Oh, yep, there you go. Did, he just came out of nowhere. Like, literally out of nowhere. Go away! He's vulnerable to storm bolt magic. So that's good to know. Because that means they're not... Ooh, staff. Staves are type of weapon preferred by mages. Okay, so I'm going to try and um, use some more magic. So I'm going to equip the torn 